now the second concept of the digital imaging processing so that is fundamental steps in digital image processing in that first one is image acquisition system and second one is image enhancement and third one is image restoration and fourth one is morphological processing and fifth one is a segmentation and sixth one is a object recognition and seventh one is representation and description and eighth one is image compression and ninth one is a color image processing now we will discuss about each and every step so what is your problem domain initial one is for the problem domain means which area so we have to be take a picture by using a mobile camera or a digital camera or any kind of other cc camera like that so which area i want to take a picture from that by using a different types of a embedded equipments so that is your our problem domain so in that image what do you want which kind of information so that is initial step of the problem domain now we will discuss about each and every step first one is a image acquisition in the first process generally the image acquisition stays involves pre processing such as your scaling so this image can be uh, acquiring so by using our cc camera which can be visualized into our central processing unit cpu or mobile phone like a touch pads or digital cameras we can acquire the data or by using like a um computer tomography ct scan or mri scan or biometrics and normal uh, touch key points along with the camera so by using initial step so that is your image acquisition system okay this is the basic uh, processing of the image acquisition in this image acquisition system so initially so any kind of a light source which can be eliminated onto this surface of that particular area of the image now the surface it will be seems like that which can be uh, projected onto this digital sensor array so finally we are getting the uh, matrices of digital array so which can be a grid concept so that is an horizontal axis and vertical axis so that is your grid concept it is a digital digitally sampled and quantization of your information will be viewed on the front panel of the cpu so that is a image acquisition steps in the digital imaging processing now we will go for into the image enhancement in this image enhancement so it is the process of adjusting a digital image so that the result are more suitable for displaying further image analysis now image enhancement what happened so now the example of this image lena we have to be consider input image a so which can be enhanced into the first step so we will get ls num noise of the our input signal and after that we have some pictorial noise is present so that can be also so remove by using the enhancement processing so that is your image c later is there any noise or background information yeah. which which is not is displayed on the front panel of the cp again we have to be enhanced into the fourth step so that is your d image so another example in electronic goods also we have to be initial image which will be displayed into the error okay this error can be noise signal can be removed so by using enhancement so after this enhancement we are getting the so quality of the information which will be displayed on the front panel of the cpu as well as the human being i example image enhancement so it is a less resolution and low intensity now here after enhancement so we will get the output it is a high intensity more enhancement output signal so that is our output signal by using a image enhancement step in the digital imaging processing the other example of the enhance image enhancement so the other example of the image enhancement so initial input image so before enhancement after enhancement you will get the output signal so it is a less noise of the output signal is present in the enhancement output signal now we have to be moving image restoration so what do you mean by the image uh, restoration so initial input image which will be displayed on on the cro screen so after image restoration so we have background information so we have to be removing in this section so after restoration your output will be so that is your original output signal will be displayed in the front panel of the cpu signal so whether we have to be step go for into this image enhancement signal the main concept of the image restoration so which is uh, deals with the improving the appearance of an image so image restoration in the operation of the taking a corrupt or noisy image 
send estimated the clean and original image means like that it is our noise image so background of the noise which are uh, removing so by using the image restoration technique so we have the our original output signal in the front panel of the uh, digital um, imaging processing system while we will go for into the next one is morphological processing so it deals with uh, tools for extracting the image components that are useful in the representation and description of the shapes now morphology of initial shape of this horse so it will be seems like that so after applying the morphological so what is the boundary of this particular horse so which will be displayed in the front panel of the digital computer only same as well as the human being face initial shape of the human being face so after morphological technique we are applying so then we have only the boundary of the information of the human being so face so that major advantage by using the morphological process so we have to be see the another example this example the morphological uh, processing so the biometric system the uh, fingerprint so we have to be uh, a fingerprint on our biometry so then input image which can be uploaded into our digital computer so first morphological technique so then we have to be uploaded into second morphological technique so it is not uh, enough to get the high intensity of the information is there any corrupt and noise is present so then also we have to be removing such kind of information later we are finally we are getting the so more number of the morphological process we are getting the exact original output signal which will be displayed on the digital computer system so by using a morphological process technique the next one is image segmentation so segmentation means a partition and image into its constituent parts or object so now it is our input image so this input image can be divided into a two parts again which can be divided into another two parts so totally so four parts so again this uh, initial first stage of this input image can be divided into another two and second stage also divided into another two and next third and fourth also divided into another two now we can partition each and every object into a so the number of uh, partitions are increasing so we have to be get the uh, more number of information while by using a segmentation technique now this is our uh, original output signal after segmentation technique we are applying so your image can be displayed um, by a by this uh, pictorial of the information which will be visualized on the digital uh, image processing system why this is another example of a image segmentation now the boundary of this particular object so which can be not visible to us in practically so which is also segmented and uh, partition in or divided into each and every part so then final output will be displayed a clarity of the information so that is you know, by using like a segmentation technique while we can prefer into the object recognition which object is present in which area if for example one human being person person is present in this area another human being present in this area standing another human being person another human being another car is present in this area another other vehicle is present in this area so how many number of uh, um, uh, means how many number of persons are standing in this particular location so f of x comma y so which can be recognized by using a digital computer so that is object recognition but which kind of object is it will be not tells to us but only the number of objects can be displayed onto the object recognition so in this another example now this is another example of the object recognition so that is vehicle uh, to an object based on its uh, descriptor so now it is one of the object which can be uh, recognizing by using a digital computer another traffic light so which you are displayed in the another object recognition another building here i am going to mark another object recognition but still here second uh, object recognition how many number of um, persons are standing so one person and second person and third and fourth and five persons are standing so only objects are recognizing by using the object recognition only so as well as we can uh, furtherly move into the another object. next one is the representation and description so the representation makes the decision whether the data should be represented as a boundary or a complete region now for example representation now this particular uh, information now this is our boundary of our input image okay this is boundary of the 
in image. All the dots are not similar, but it will be some variations. This region, I have to be, this boundary can be complete uh, uh, of this particular value. So if for example, 4.5, so then we have to be uh, market 5. So another example, 6.9, we have the value, then market is 7, like that. So now this is one boundary of the information, second boundary, and third boundary, and fourth boundary, and fifth boundary of the information. And description means it is a future extraction. Okay. If compared to this uh, region of this boundary, now description means a future extraction. So after applying this description, the how many number of attributes are presented. So in this case, how many number of attributes are presented? So if in this case, one attribute, two attribute, and three attribute, four and five, six and so on. So this can again so upload it into a digital computer, a future extraction. So which deals with the extracting the number of attributes to connect all these points. We have or have a more information by using a digital imaging processing system. Now in this, next one is image compression what do you mean deals with technique for reducing the storage required to save an image or the bandwidth is required to transmit it for example low bandwidth information is present how is the way to transfer the transmitter to receiver so if this example this core initial size of this core is a 116 kilobytes of data so after applying the compression technique so the compressing uh, technique, the size of this core is 12.9 kilobytes, means 11 percentage is compression. Again, this image can be compressed into so another size that will be displayed in the current panel. So that is 1.95 kilobytes, means 1.6 percentage. Again, it will be compression by using the image compressing technique. Finally, last one is color image processing so now in this color image processing so here the um, primary colors uh, re, uh, uh, red green and blue so these are the rgb colors so from this colors which kind of color which can be displayed on the digital system so that which can be monitored so primary colors and uh, and we have initially so it is only there is no color information after applying this color imaging processing so we have to get the rgb primary color output signal so then what is the use of this color imaging processing um, by using like a by using this color imaging processing so human eye all colors are seen as visible to combine uh, of the three so called primary colors so red green and blue so each and every colors to store the data it will be required 8 bit so that is red it will be required to store the data in 8 bit and green it will be required to store the data 8 bit and blue it will be stored the another 8 bit total 24 bits is required to store a single pixel of a data by using the color imaging processing so now last but now these are the basic fundamental steps uh, used in the uh, digital imaging processing so we'll move into the next concept of the digital imaging processing what are the components of an image processing system in this components of the image processing first one is the image sensor first one and second one is a specialized image processing hardware and third one is a computer and fourth one is image processing software and fifth one is a mass storage and sixth one is a image displays and seventh one is for the hard copy to see our output in the hard copy so these are the basic components of the imaging processing system our input image analog image which can be uploaded into our image sensors so this sensors which will be displayed in a um, frequent time domain into a frequency domain or frequency domain into time domain so that is called as a function is f of x comma y so it is our problem domain of the input which can be sensor sensed by using a image sensors in this 